reason many people are not answered is because they focus on themselves before they focus on the kingdom of God. So in prayer, you must prioritize God. Then after you have prioritized God, you then pray about yourself. So when you are starting to pray, pray about the needs of God. Pray about the needs of the church. Blessed be the name of the Lord. What a marvelous time. What a marvelous hour. May the Lord bless you. I love you so much. My name is Yom Killer Joseph. And this is Jesus Reigns TV. Thank you for subscribing and continuing to spread the message. I believe that God is about to do big things in your life and in the world today. So I, I want to speak to you today about what some somebody else might be. What, what is this? Today I want to talk to you about China. What many of you don't understand is that China is a threat to the world. And China is going to become a world superpower. And I'll give you the reasons why China will become the world superpower is because firstly, this is going to happen when America is destroyed, number one, finally destroyed, of which that's what they are trying to do, but I don't think it will happen now. Then China, as it seeks for economic domination, it would then take over the world. Then it, as it will take over the world, then it will usher for the new world order that to which the Antichrist will finally be the one that is taking over the world. Now China is prophesied in the Bible. So I want to show you where the Bible in the book of Revelation speaks about China and how China is going to be judged by God. So look at this. Go to the book of Revelations, number 17. And let's start from reading from verse number one. Then one of the angels, one of the seven angels, who had the seven bowls, came and spoke with me. Come, I will show you the judgment of the notorious prostitute who is seated on the waters. The kings of the earth committed sexual immorality with her, and those who live on the earth became drunk on the wine of her sexual immorality. Then he, then he carried me away in the spirit to a wilderness. I saw a woman sitting on a scarlet beast that was covered with a blasphemous names and had seven heads and ten horns. The woman was dressed in purple and scarlet, adorned with gold, jewels, and pearls. She had golden cup in her hand filled with everything detestable and with the impurities of her prostitution. On her forehead was written a name, a mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of all prostitutes and the, and the detestable things of the earth. Then I saw the woman was drunk with blood of the saints and with the blood of the witnesses to Jesus. When I saw her, I was greatly astonished. So this woman that the apostle John sees is drunk with the blood of the saints and the blood of the witnesses of the Lord. So I will make it shortly to you to tell you that the woman the Bible speaks about here is China. And she is riding on the beast, meaning that the Antichrist, which is the devil, is the one that is supporting China. So the woman that he saw was riding upon the beast. So 
China is being supported by fallen angels and it's been given certain advanced information so that it can take over the world finally. Together working with the reptilian people which are a circle of people working together with the globalist technocrats and the others so it's a it's a it's a cult group that is at the upper level now it uses china as its base so china is a base for these people now the bible says that the woman that john sees here he says she is scarlet meaning she's got a red color and china's color is red that's their fetish color is red hence communism is always symbolized by red so as this woman is that the Bible said the kings of the earth committed sexual immorality with her so meaning that China is seducing many nations Many people of the earth, the kings of the earth, are beginning to commit adultery with her, cheating on their own nations with China. Because when you see, or in most cases, when you see a woman in the Bible, it's either two things prophetically, it's either you see the church, or it's either you see a nation. A nation is referred as a she. A woman so right now China is destined for destruction God wants to destroy China in the future because of the blood of the Saints and the blood of God's people that is being shed every day in China as we are speaking but will china become a superpower the bible tells you that the woman is sitting upon many waters meaning she's sitting upon the sea that's where china is located so the bible is clear and that she is trading with all the kings of the earth and they are drunk with the wine of her sexual immorality so china will manage to do its sinister things especially if it succeeds in crippling america so that it can take over all this style of governance that it does which is against god against the people of god to the whole nations of the earth so you see governments of the earth changing to become socialist governments and communists so that they can become totalitarian states take away constitutional rights take away freedoms because in china there is no constitutional rights and freedom the ccp is the god of china so right now i want you to know that china is going to be a superpower but it's gonna be judged by God. So let, let's just read, let's just read. Go down with verse seven. Then the angel said to me, why are you astonished? I will explain to you the mystery of the woman and of the beast with the seven heads and the 10 horns that carries her. The beast that you saw was and is not and is about to come out from the abyss and go to destruction those who live on the earth whose names are not written in the book of life from the foundations of the world will be astonished when they see the beast that was is and is not and is to come this calls for a mind that has wisdom the seven heads of are the seven mountains on which the woman is seated 
There are also seven kings. Five have fallen. One is one one is the other is not yet come and when he comes he must remain for a little while the beast that was and is not is itself the eighth king but it belongs to the seven and is going to destruction the ten horns you saw are the kings who have not yet received the kingdom but they will receive authority as kings with the beast for one hour these have one purpose they give their power and authority to the beast they will make war against the lamb but the lamb will conquer them because he is the lord of lords and the king of kings those with him are called chosen and faithful He also said to me The waters you saw where the prostitute was seated are peoples multitudes nations and languages Then the ten holes you saw and the beast will will hate the prostitute They will make her desolate and naked devour her flesh and burn her with fire For God has put into their hearts to carry out this plan by having one purpose to give their kingdom to the beast until the words of God are fulfilled and the woman you saw is the great city that has royal power over the kings of the earth now i want you to see that verse number 15 here it's the time when china is going to refuse to surrender its own sovereignty to the beast then the beast which is the antichrist will be angry against china and the babs and god will put it on on their hearts in the hearts of the kings of the earth and the antichrist to destroy china again meaning to destroy the woman which the same beast has carried so that's verse 15 where it says that then the horns you saw and the beast will hate the prostitute so the same prostitute and the horns which is are the leaders of the earth will start hating china now because the role was not for china to continue to be dominant to the world but the role was for china to just facilitate the process for the antichrist to finally take over now when the entire world order plan is then done China will then refuse to be part of the system. It would then try to still run as itself like that. So now the Bible says the woman had an influence over the people of the earth of which that's what China is doing right now the king I mean the kings of the earth that's what China is doing it's identifying political leaders from all nations it's beginning to lay them with money with different kind of things I think you can even hear what's happening in the united states where they are finding out that some of their politicians governors have been payrolled and being rolled by china including the so called president elect biden has also been being rolled by china his son has dealings with china so china is already paying presidents of the earth i know australia uh, is captured by china as well in a way but i think they are still having some problems now and many many other countries are being even canada china as well so the ccp has expanded itself the prostitute expanded itself and to capture the kings of the earth now one nation that god has not mentioned in the bible which is now helping the world is america which is not in the biblical prophecy because america is supposed to be destroyed at the end so that these people can then take over but not now now it's the time of the church now it's a time for the church to thrive and i believe that the church is on the safe side and america is a symbol of the church so that might be after rapture then america is destroyed then uh, these people are taking over the world now if you see a uh, verse i mean chapter 18 you will see that The Bible speaks about the great falling of the woman and 
how all of the kings of the earth are going to cry, the merchants of the earth, about how they used to trade with her and how they used to buy her merchants and all of those things. Then you now begin to discover that for real, like it was China that was uh, uh, the Bible speaks about here and, and all of that. So now, okay, let's just read, uh, let's just read uh, verse number nine. Chapter 18, verse number 9. The kings of the earth who had committed sexual immorality and shed her sensual and, and excessive ways will weep and mourn over her when they see the smoke from her burning. They will stand far off in fear of her torment, saying, War, war, Babylon, the great city, the mighty city, for in a single hour your judgment has come. The merchants of the earth will weep. Those are the business people of the earth. The Wall Street, the, 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 those who are benefiting from China. Because no one buys their cargo any longer. Cargo go of gold, silver, jewels, pearls, fine linen, purple, silk, scarlet, all kinds of fragrant woods products objects and ivory objects of expensive wood and brass and iron and marble, cinnamon spice, incense, mirror, frankincense, wine, olive oil, fine flour, grain, cattle and sheep, horses and carriages and slaves and human lives. The fruit you craved has left you. All your splendid and glamorous things are gone. They will never find them again. Uh, so these are what are the mentions. Yeah, okay, verse number 15. The merchants of, the, of, of these things who became rich from her will stand far off in fear of her torment, weeping, mourning, and saying, War, war, Babylon, the great city. Now, I want you to, to see this verse. It says, The merchants of the earth who became rich from her. So there are some people who are becoming rich from China especially in America and in Canada and other places. Some politicians are becoming rich. Some businesses are becoming rich, especially the big tech. Hence now, even in YouTube, this video immediately, it talks about China. You will see down in YouTube, it will be flagged. Uh, uh, YouTube is, is part of the Chinese system, the, the big tech, they are submitting to the Chinese system because of whatever that is behind them. I'll come to you and talk to you about these things, probably as the Holy Spirit allows me to reveal to you how the fallen angels are helping China put, uh, technologically to take over the world. And I'll reveal to you who are those angels, how many are of them and what are they doing like that. So, but now I just wanted to come with this teaching to you to tell you that China will at the later stage become a superpower and the Lord will bring great judgment over China. But there is a judgment of China that is coming right now, which is not the one that is now in the Bible. But there's a judgment that is taking place in China right now. The Lord is going to use the President of the United States, Donald Trump, to put a judgment on China and to put China in line until the church is, is ready for the, for the time of the Lord. So you pray for the President of the United States and you pray because I believe that God is about to do big things in the earth. So family, this is how far I can go with this one, but there's much more I, I, I can explore. But I just believe that you have found for yourself that China will become a superpower and China will be judged by God. So continue to subscribe, continue to click on the notification, tell your friend and family about Jesus reigns. Till I see you next time. I love you. God bless you.
Thank you for watching Jesus Reigns TV. I believe that you are blessed by the testimonies, the teachings, and the prophecies that you keep getting into this channel. Remember, Jesus Reigns is only here to make sure that you at, the, at your home, you are able to receive the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ and to know the mind of God in the hour today. As many voices are speaking all over the world, it is very important to hear what the voice of the Lord is saying right now. Maybe you're sitting there at, the, at your home watching or maybe you're watching through your phone or whatever medium you're using and you said in your heart, I've seen the man of God preaching the gospel, but I don't know Jesus. I've never met Jesus and I would love to meet that Jesus to come into my life. Right now, if you don't know Jesus Christ, I want to lead you to a prayer of salvation and the Lord Jesus will come to your heart and he will save you. Your sins will be forgiven and your life will be changed. So make this prayer with me right now. Say, Lord Jesus, come unto my heart and change my life. I believe that you died and you resurrected. And today, because of your blood, I am saved. With my heart, I believe. With my mouth, I confess that you are the Lord over my life and the King of my salvation. Thank you, Jesus, for changing me in Jesus' name. Immediately, you have made this prayer. Now you are born again. Now you are a child of the kingdom of God. The Bible says we believe with our hearts, we confess with our mouth, and we are saved. Immediately, you have done this prayer. You have taken the best decision over your life. And right now, I want you to read the Bible and live by the word of the Lord. Because the Bible is clear that He gave all of us to become the sons of God. And now, you are the son of God. May the Lord bless you. Continue to watch Jesus Christ TV. Continue to click on the notification. Until I see you next time. Shalom. Shalom.